Hi and welcome to Food for Thought Thursday. Today I'm going to show you how to prepare Brussels sprouts. The problem with Brussels sprouts is most people overcook them and they have that really strong odor and they don't taste so great. They taste kind of mushy. So today I'm going to show you how to prep them, how to steam them for a very short period of time so you know most of the nutrients are lost when you cook your vegetables, especially when you cook them for a long period of time. So you want to cook these for a very short period of time, then I'm going to show you how to dress them so they taste really good. So the first thing you want to do is you want to get some very bright green Brussels sprouts and you want to cut off the base of it and if there's any yucky leaves just kind of get rid of them. There's no yellow ones on this one but there's a couple little spots and then you want to quarter these, okay? Remember the key is to cook them for very little time so you save the key nutrients that are in these Brussels sprouts. Brussels sprouts are cruciferous vegetables. They have very much of an anti-cancer property to them. So anytime you can eat any cruciferous vegetable like Brussels sprouts, you're doing yourself a huge favor. Okay, so once you've got these cut into quarters, you simply put them in the steamer like we have going over here, and you're going to steam them for five minutes. And we're gonna set the timer because once you get to that six or seven mark of minutes cooking these, that's when they start to have that really foul smell. So we're going to avoid that by, by actually steaming these for just five minutes. Okay, so it's been five minutes, just enough to make these Brussels sprouts soft enough and still maintain their nutrient density. So they're still bright and green as you can see. Once you've steamed them, you want to then move them into a glass bowl. I'm going to grab a spoon for that. And you want to transport them into a nice dish. Then we're going to toss them with some fabulous vinaigrettes and some cheese and some fresh basil and um, some pine nuts. See how bright and green these guys are? Nothing like those mushy ones you get in the frozen bag where they've been overcooked. So now that we've got them, take your favorite vinaigrette. I happen to have a new one that I just got at the farmer's market that's a raspberry vinaigrette, and it is just divine. So what you want to do is lightly drizzle some vinaigrette over your Brussels sprouts. More if you like. Toss them like that. Then we're going to add some fresh basil freshly chopped. Sprinkle that in there. I may have put a little bit too much of my vinaigrette. It smells so good. And then you want to put a little bit of goat cheese. Let that kind of melt in there. I might put a little bit more. Mix that up. And then I love to top it off with some pine nuts. And there you have it. Let's taste it and see how it tastes. So there's a Brussels sprout with a little bit of cheese and a pine nut. Mmm. It's a little hot. <laughs> Maybe it's a little premature to try that, but mmm. Oh, very good. Still tender on the outside. Super crunchy on the inside. So there you have it. Very easy recipe, packed full of nutrient density, and it only took five minutes to make. Hope you enjoy this food for that Thursday.